Hi everybody, this is Nikki. How are you? No, that's not how I start my videos. How long have I been doing this? And I still can't get it right. Hi everybody, it's Nikki. How are you doing? I still... <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to a makeup video. So today's video is my This Is Fantasy Project Pan update for you. This is hosted by the Fantastic Ladies, uh, created by Alicia or Ali as some people call her. Uh, it is going from uh, last October in 2021 until this October uh, this year. Um, updates around about the 11th of every month. Um, so hopefully you should be seeing this on the 11th. You might, you might not. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I re-dyed my hair. So we have a bit more blue back. Um, it's not looking so manky anymore. And... Uh, my lipstick apparently is matching my jumper today, but hey, uh, <laughs> so let's get on with the update. I have uh, two goals met, one empty and one goal usage. Uh, so the first one is an empty and that is my Avon Rare Gold uh, perfume. It is all gone, nothing left. There's a little bit at the bottom, but you know with perfumes, you just can't get that last little drag. So this was for uh, the Noma product, a gemstone or mineral themed product. So that is that gone. The Gnome has, is out of here. Um, I quite like the scent of this. It was really nice. Um, I would purchase this again. I like the Avon perfumes. They're affordable and yet smell really nice. I know a lot of people think that they smell like grandmas. But um, I never really had a grandma. So when I get those grandma type smells, I like, I really like it. It makes me feel comforted. Like, you know, I don't know. I just, I never had an extended family. Um, right now I have no family apart from my husband and my kids. But, um, but yeah, uh, I like it. I like, does it make me smell like a grandma? Maybe, but I don't care, it smells nice. Uh, so yeah, and as I say, they're affordable. So even if they don't stay, you know, around as long as some of the more expensive perfumes and yeah, uh, Mugla, I'm looking at you. Um, also Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal. Whenever I spray that on my clothes, three days later, I'm like, oh, what's that nice smell? Um, you know <laughs> so yeah um yeah i purchase it again i might i might look for um avon representative in my area um if i know one uh if i find one i would probably purchase another perfume from them um so yeah that is all gone the next one was my usage goal and that is my elf liquid eyeshadow uh in the shade uh what were you what shade were you aurora this was a uh, celestial themed uh for werewolf so it's like that i'll give you a switchy switch so it is like that beautiful green slightly patchy um on occasion but i use it as an eyeshadow base it creases on me and it doesn't have much lasting power with my weepy eyes but um so i wouldn't repurchase them i know of other cream eyeshadows that i prefer better but my daughter swears by them um she absolutely loves the elf um cream eyeshadows uh apparently we were in superdrug the other day and she pointed these out not this shade but like the golds and and the bronzes she went i love those those are awesome i have a couple of those in my collection so my daughter enjoys these so maybe it might have something to do with my older skin i don't know but um yeah i i'm not massively keen on them i mean i'll continue to continue to use this um because I do want to use it up, but um, my daughter loves them. So take from that what you will. 
Uh, my daughter is a more uh, kind of one shadow and done. So I guess for someone like that, these might be more appropriate. But for me, who likes to layer up the colors, um, it doesn't quite work with the way I use my makeup. So it is staying in my collection, but it is out of the project because the goal was 10 uses. And today I have my 10th use. Uh, this started the weight at 22.54 and it now weighs uh, 20, uh, 22.20. So yes, all done, finished, gone. Uh, well, not gone. Uh, back in my collection okay moving on to some of the other items uh, for progress um, I have my chocolate peaches palette from I Heart Revolution uh, you may have seen recently I brought this into another project pan so you will be seeing this in two separate projects um, but it is primarily for my this is fantasy and there are two shades in here uh, that are in this project there is this shade here and this shade here I can tell you that I have this shade in my crease today and it is primarily this shade that I have been focusing in on I'm trying to hit pan in both of those shades but I have not used this green at all uh, in the past month I've been working on other greens and so this one just gets completely lost um but you can see a nice good dip going in that brown now i reckon um yeah with a lot more focus on it um and i am trying to focus on it now um that uh hopefully i will get a pan on it soon it is a reddish brown so yeah um it's it's very hard to use in the crease because it's such a bold color um but yeah we are still going so that is that uh that has gone from 185.80 grams last month to 185.64 grams uh this month and i have used it five times so primarily this shade um but yeah uh, i've used the the luscious shade the brown shade five times but the green one no at all i haven't used it at all the next product <coughs> the next product i have is my um franken highlighter in this physician's formula packaging and the goal is to use up this quarter here and as you can see, we're getting quite close to this edge now. Um, I reckon a couple more months and I will definitely be finished with that. Um, it might last till the end of the project uh, in October, but I reckon I could get this out before then. So I got, meow, I got it on my tape. See, this is why I hate red lipstick. Uh, so yeah, um, I reckon I could get it out uh, before the end of the uh, project. Last month it weighed 54.48 grams and now it weighs 54.40. So 0 0.08 of a gram gone. But we are getting there. It is the highlighter I have on today. Um, but yes, no, and my news as well. So it, um, yeah. I like it i like it a lot i'll actually be sad to see that go because i actually really like that highlight it's my perfect highlighter um but apparently in the uh daylight in the natural light it kind of glistens and is a little bit sparkly it look like i've got fairy dust on my face um but i don't mind that he doesn't mind a bit of fairy dust uh, next off, I did use this twice this month, uh, but there is no change in weight. It still weighs 12.69 grams, and that is my MAC eyeshadow in Dust Off. So it is a very nice kind of shimmery shade. So it is that there. Perfect highlighter. But I never use it as a highlighter. No, I use it as an inner corner highlighter that's what i've been using it as hence why there's no movement on it um i think 
once this goes out I might start concentrating on this one and using this as a facial highlighter because it is really nice um so yeah uh next off is my uh, vanilla pumpkin uh, body butter from the body shop love this stuff say every month that's what we're looking like i can see we're we're, we're starting to there there in the middle we're starting to get close to the bottom of the tub um yeah i apply this when i get out of the bath um if i remember um i need to get better at applying this because my skin is getting quite dry coming into the summer months so uh yeah i need to start um focusing in on this more especially because i have so many body butters and i prefer a body yogurt in the summer rather than a body butter so i do want to try and get this finished off before the summer really kicks in because then i want to be going to my body yogurts and if i'm using my body yogurts uh, which are a lot lighter and fresher in the summer rather than the body butters which are a lot heavier and creamier um if i'm using a body yogurt i'm not going to be focusing on this so i do want to try and get this out before the the summer really hits and i i've got a, another month or two because <laughs> let's face it we get like a week of a heat wave here in the uk and then summer's over um but uh last month this weighed 153.93 and this month it weighs 125.58 so it's going down just not, not quickly enough uh the next item is my sleek nail polish and i actually have this on my nails today so that's what it looks like uh so this is a sleek nail polish in birthday suit and last month this weighed 30.48 it now weighs 29.95 uh so and i have used it twice twice um i would have used it more but since since i started my zodiac project pan obviously that's a project polish focused uh, project for me personally i made it into one it didn't have to be but i made it one um i have been focusing on other polishes um rather than this one and it wasn't until last night i went oh i need to use birthday suit so i painted my nails last night and so i've got a second uh usage in i can see now that we are just under here whereas last month it was still like at the top of the bottle now i can see i can see a line i can i don't know if you can see a line but i can see a line right there uh so yeah this has a um goal usage of 10 uses and so far including the two in the previous in the re this month uh i have used it four so uh, another six uses to go on this one the next item is something that i use every time i do my skincare routine and that is my body shop elderflower unperfumed cooling eye gel um, it's just a very clear eye gel uh, it's very hard to show but yeah it's been tipped on its side unfortunately uh, <laughs> So we are, we're getting down, we're down to here now. I would mark it, but because I'm handling this all the time with not greasy hands, but definitely moisturised hands, um, any markings I make would just rub off anyway. So we'll go by weights as always. Uh, Body Shop Eye Gel, last month weighed 25.98, this month weighs 24.72. The next item is extremely exciting because I can see windows. You see windows in the product, which means we're coming close to maybe taking the stopper out. I don't know. Uh, when I 
uh, remove the wand I still get plenty of product on there uh, so I don't know uh, we are talking about of course the collection lasting perfection concealer this is in the old packaging they have new packaging for this now I'm in the shade number one fair uh, so last month this weighed 11.15 and this month weighs 10.90 which is pretty good because that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot so i'm quite happy with that um and yeah i'll just continue to work on it until it's done it's my one and only well it's not my one and only concealer it's the only concealer i use in the moment i don't use anything else um so every time i'm concealing i'm concealing with this so that's that uh the next item do you remember last month <laughs> I said that this was going to be my focus product for the month. I lied. I'm a little liar. Uh, I didn't use it at all. Not once, not single, once. Uh, this is the number seven Stay Perfect Shade and Define Eye Pencil in Gunmetal Grey. It's absolutely gorgeous. The only time I ever use it is when I give you a swatch. So let's do it again. There we go. Might as well get some use out of it. At least it's getting one use every month because I'm swatching it for you, showing you how stunning it is, telling you how beautiful it is and how much I love this product. And then for the rest of the month, I don't use it at all. Uh, so, yeah, that 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 didn't change. So that stayed the same. Uh, an item I did use, however, is my Barry M Glitter Dust, uh, just in this beautiful, beautiful green shade normally I would wear this with the elf liquid eyeshadow um, so I may just keep the liquid the elf liquid eyeshadow in my makeup drawers uh, in my everyday makeup drawers should I say uh, just so I can continue to use this with it um, but the Barry M glitter dust went from 21.14 to 21.11 because I only used it once and at this rate, I'm going to be using it on my deathbed. <laughs> These things last forever. But hey, at least I'm using it for the first time in years. I've probably used it more since putting it in this project pan than I've used it in the entire time that I've owned this glitter. So, bonus. Uh, the next item I do have on my eyes today and that is <clears throat> my Tarte BM no make waves and be a, be a mermaid and make waves I never get the name right but at least I didn't call you a Tarte this time uh, be a mermaid and make waves palette absolutely gorgeous beautiful stunning uh, very reflective so I do apologize no actually I don't apologize very reflective uh, so you can see all my stuff um does still smell of vanilla so it's still going pretty strong i love that smell uh, i have the two greens on my eyes today and then i have this uh no this one on my lower lashes so not a massive use of it but i am getting dips in some shades now which is not awesome because I don't want to pan this. <laughs> I don't want to see pan in this palette. I want to keep it pristine and beautiful for the rest of my life. Um, but, you know, it's getting old, so it needs to be used. This has a 10 use goal on it. And in the past month, I have used it three times, including today. So that is a total of three, four, five, six uses. So only four more to go. And this will be rolling out. Can I use it four more times in the next month? I don't know. I won't make any promises because as we know, I don't keep them. Number seven, stay perfect. Pencil, I'm looking at you. <laughs> uh, the next item is, there's no weight on that by the way, because as soon as I put this palette onto my weighing scales, they went overload, she's too fat. Uh, so I, uh, <laughs> I took her off before she got a complex, you know. Uh, so the next item is another Franken product in this Revolution Skin Kiss uh, packaging. 
excuse me while I use my spatula to open it rather than breaking my lovely nails uh, so this is currently what it's looking like it is looking good I am hopeful that I can finish this maybe not by the end of the project but definitely by the end of the year which means I will have finished two bronzers this year how amazing is that how amazing would that be um so yeah that is what it's looking like it's looking quite thin in certain areas um like down here at the bottom but uh up here and here it's still looking a little um thicker uh, shall we say but yes it's definitely going in the right direction uh last month this weighed 80 uh 6.76 and now weighs 86.26 so 0.5 of a gram gone so half a gram lovely it does kick up a lot when i'm using it so uh, all of that weight loss is not through use it's 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 through the kick up i i'm assuming because i don't use a lot although i do slightly over bronze uh anyway moving on the next item is my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I am trying to hit pan on this and I have a rather good dip going and yet still no pan, no pan. I, I'm i close, I know I am. I'm just, I'm just not close enough. Close but no cigar. Uh, so as of last month, this weighed 54.92, it now weighs 54.28. So I will continue to use it and I think once I hit pan, I, uh, I mean, I'm going to continue to use it, um, even when it's rolled out of the project because I'm using this as my eye base. Um, I was going to say that, um, I'm going to smush it all back down. Um, but I quite like the fact that I have this dip because now when I stick my finger in it, um, which I don't like doing, but I've noticed that when I try to use a brush, it's it's not it's not the best um i'm currently using a brush um but i don't want to continue that way um so i want to start uh taking it from the sides once i've hit pan i think um but while my goal is to hit pan i'm going to continue to use the brush because that's the best way i can get down into the product but once that happens and it's taken out of the product, I will just use my finger on the side. Um, but yeah, so I reckon next month, I reckon next month we'll have hit pan on this. So that could be a goal met for next month. The next item. I have this on my lips today. It is the KVD red lipstick. I'm not saying its name. I don't like it I don't like the name um i put this on and i went oh that's a little bit bright so then i put a, a lip gloss lip cream thing over the top and it's turned it uh slightly pink but so <laughs> so that i thought go with it nicola wear your pink jumper <laughs> i wasn't intending i got it on my teeth again i wasn't intending to wear my pink jumper today um i mean it is a bit nippy but i wasn't intending on wearing my pink jumper today but hey i have vibrant pink lipstick on so i might as well go with it um uh, yeah i have that much i've used it once today i used it once today um i don't like this lipstick to be fair uh so it is that shade um so I've used it once, the goal is to use it 10 times, and I've used it four. In, which goes to tell you how many times I wear a red lip. Not a lot. Uh, so that is that one. Six more uses to go in. Um, and that is it. Um, because I showed them my empty. So, yay, it catches me out every time. Because <laughs> the last couple of items on the list are not, not, not uh, out um so yeah that is it that is my update uh one empty one goal met um and good usage on all of the other items um i think 
I think for next month, did we say there was four more uses on this? I think I could do that in a month. Once a week, I can do that, I can do that. Um, and I reckon I can hit goal on um, my MAC Painterly paint pot. So those are the goals that I'm hoping to meet for next month. Dare I say, dare I say, oh, come on, I've just got to use it once. <laughs> The goal for this, by the way, is to use it up. I have to use it up and I haven't used it once. Look. <sighs> Somebody kick my butt into gear, please, and get me to use this. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I use everything else apart from that. And I'm really good at, like scrolling through all my products so everything gets fair use except for that goddamn pencil anyway now that this has rolled out that was my last like eye base uh that i had in project pans so maybe i might be able to start using this as an eye base uh because that's primarily how i use it kind of thing so it might get used now but that is it. That is my update for This Is Fantasy. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.